what's going on. It's Massive Joe's Raw Review, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Awesome Raw Review for the viewers at home today. Particularly awesome because I got my man Neve up in the Raw Review. You know it's going to be an awesome Raw Review. Neve, welcome to the Raw Review, my man. It's good to be in a non-test booster one. A, a non-growth hormone supplement raw review for once. Yes. And I would go so far as to say that this, this is the first of three raw reviews. The most I'm, anticipated of 2013. The most anticipated product line. The most anticipated series of raw reviews we've seen thus far. Would you agree? We have had an unprecedented demand for these raw reviews and products. Let's Every single day. Phone Shall you drop it on them? Shall you tell them what it is? Well, this raw review on the all new. If you haven't already read the title, <laughs> if you haven't clicked on the video title, you already know. MTS Clash. MTS Clash, man, coming from my man Mark Lobliner. One Machine the, Training Solutions. MTS Nutrition. One of the most respected dudes in the supplement industry worldwide, man. His new supplement line, MTS, includes this here Clash pre workout and includes an intra workout that we're going to raw review in another video. And of course, MTS Way being raw reviewed in another video. Neve, let's get straight into it. MTS Clash Raw Review. But before we get straight into it, man, I'm just going to ask you. If you were to design a pre-workout, my man, from scratch, blank canvas, design a pre-workout, what would you be throwing in that bitch? Why and in what amounts? Well, pre-workout on energy, so I'd chuck some caffeine in there. You're gonna chuck some stims, man, for sure. But how much? Under 300 milligrams. For me, that's perfect, man, because if I have more than 300 milligrams You're of dead. caffeine. No, I'm not dead, I just wanna go take a nap. And I'd probably throw in, because caffeine's good, man, but I'd probably throw in like some PEA and some Sinopharin as well, just for that. A little bit of, a little bit of, boom! What else are you putting in that pre-workout, man? Uh, creatine, creatine, I, you like creatine hydrochloride, I like creatine mono, I take creatine mono. Most people prefer creatine So I'd mono. say at least five grams of creatine You've mono. got to throw a clinical dose in there for muscle power. What else, man? Uh, a pump. Ah. Skin splitting pump. <laughs> Skin splitting My favourite nitro oxide right. booster is Agmatine. I think it goes without saying, Agmatine at the moment is the hottest nitro oxide booster knows about, on the planet. If anyone knows about Agmatine, it's a fine line between too much and not enough. That's it. How much would you put in your pre-workout? One and a half. I go one anywhere between one to two grams, man. And then finally... But don't go too much. Don't go adding Agmatine into it. But yeah, what, what else would you... What about like muscle fatigue, that sort of thing? Beta alanine. Probably some beta alanine. And clinical dose as well, man. So you've got to be doing at least three grams. None of this fairy dust shit. And then, yeah, no pixie dusting in these bitches. And if you're like me, man, you've got to love yourself some tyrosine, man. Help you focus. Help you get your <clears throat> Einstein on in the gym, man. I love that kind of stuff. If you've seen raw reviews, you know I love tyrosine. Show them the panel, Neve. Show them the nutritional information panel, man. That's what is in MTS Clash. We took the liberty of printing out one of these big nutritional information uh, panels. Oh no, you got the zoom focus? No. Do you think the viewers at home can see that? No, no way. No. Use a big one. You want to hold it up? I'm talking about the product. There we go. I think you and me, you and I, yeah. may have designed this product. Should we start it from the bottom or should we start it from the top? Let's go from the top. There it is, creatine monohydrate, but not any type, man. Crea Pure, the patented creatine monohydrate. Full clinical dose, five grams. Beta alanine, not just any old beta alanine, Neve. The Carnison patented beta alanine. Full clinical dose, plus a bit more, 3.2 grams. There's your Agmatine sulfate, one and a half grams. Mark's throwing some betaine in here as well, one and a half grams. Works very synergistically with creatine. Popping up in pre-workouts all over the place. There's my N-acetyltyrosine, half a gram. And then you've got what he's calling his boom blend, which when combined with the 250 milligrams of caffeine in this bitch. Gonna get you all stimulated, but ain't gonna get you overstimulated to the point where you wanna go into the squat rack and take yourself a nap, man. That's what's in it. In terms of how it tastes, how it mixes, comes in one flavour. Comes in, my personal favourite. <laughs> you can't, it's one flavour. You can't have a personal favourite or one flavour. Lemonade. 
Right, but if I could choose any flavour in the whole world. You're a big fan of lemonade. I am. Me, on the other hand, I am not a big fan of Why can't flavors? somebody bring out a Coca Cola flavoured pre workout? No, your Coca Cola Zero flavoured pre workout yeah. for your fine self. Turns out how it mixes need. Show them the live demonstration. Got ourselves a glass with see through walls. Gonna throw us now, up. Gotta throw two scoops. Two scoops. A serve is two scoops, man. There's so, one. you know. There's two. And two. So Grab the spoon. As you can see, it's dropped to the bottom. Dropping to the bottom now we're here. Got some Drake in the house. Mix it up. Give it a few stirs, man. Show the viewers at home. Show them the top. Show them the bottom. Show them how it mixes or how it doesn't mix. How's that looking to you, man? That's looking pretty well mixed. You've got some sinkers down the bottom. Of course. You got any floaties at the top? No. Show them! Keep it to yourself. I would go so far as to say, Neve? Oh, we'll see the bottom. Let's have a look. Have a sip. Here we go. Drinking the whole pre-workout again. Oh no, is there nothing? I would, I would go so far as to say blender ball is not required. But if you wanted to use it, it's not going to hurt. But you can mix it up in a spoon. You just did. And are you going to go train now or are you going to go do some work? I'm going to go... Scientifically proven to increase work productivity by 255%. This here MTS clash. Minimum. How does it taste? Tell them. Delicious. It tastes like old school lemonade. I don't like it because I don't like citrus flavours. Oh, I love it. But if you like citrus flavours like me, you're probably going to like it. I love it. lemonade, love orange. In terms of the effects, Neve, you want to tell them about how you train on this here MTS clash, man? Because that's why they're buying the pre-workouts. They ain't buying for the taste of the mixability or what it says on the label, man. They're buying it because they want it to make them train. Now, the main thing I noticed, <clears throat> again, the pumps were painful. Yeah, the pumps are ridiculous. Because man. of the agmatine in there. One and a half grams. There's no pre-workout that has that much agmatine in it. The pumps were painful. I trained, uh, the first, I trained, never trained, never try a new pre-workout on leg day. day. But I did. I did as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hit. That's, I, that's our ultimate <coughs> test for pre-workouts. So I hit quads. So yeah. my quads were that painful. I did, I trained legs on it and I did the quasi quad workout, which you can find on massivejoes.com under workouts, under legs, of course. Mm. With those first, I did, started off with 10 sets of 20 reps of leg extensions. Mm. I couldn't move my legs, man. They were pumped. So in, ter in terms of energy, it doesn't shoot you through the roof with the amount of energy in it. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna be. It's just a slow, blow your head slow off. steady energy. Yeah, um, it's solid. Are we allowed to mention another pre-workout in here? You can mention whatever you want. The not the new formula of assault, the old formula of assault. Yeah. It's very similar to that kind of feel. Absolutely. Yeah. So it doesn't, f although it does have a lot more caffeine than the original assault. It does. More that, stimulants in general. But that kind of, uh, kind of feeling. I'm gonna break it down real easy for the viewers at home, man. In the pre-workout category these days, you've got on one hand concentrated stimulant pre-workouts, which at the moment is being owned by DEFCON 1. Mm. Just owned. DEFCON 1 owns that bitch. On the other hand, you've got complete muscle builders, which has always been pretty much the original formula of muscle farm assault, which has now been discontinued. So there's, there's really, you know, probably pre-gym from Jim Stepani is probably owning that category, but we're not sure. We're just about to find out. No, it's probably 2.0 we sold it off. Yeah, a little bit. MTS Clash pretty much fits halfway between the two. Because it's got Would more, it's got more stims than your then, average then muscle building pre workout. Muscle but it's clinically dosed. Clinically dosed in the term in the amount of creatine, agmatine, beta alanine, etc. Et caffeine. It's not concentrated stimulant. So it kind of fits halfway between the two. Which for me personally, don't get me wrong, man. I love training on my concentrated stim every now and again. But I uh, viewers at home would know this. I always go back to a lower stim pre-workout that's clinically dosed. Because I think, no, in fact, I'm certain. Over the long term, your clinically dosed pre-workout is going to get you all kinds of gains, man. And that's really what we're after. We're not after the transient stimulant effect. We're after stupid gains. Mm. So I like this MTS Clash, man. I think the one thing to note is you're going to train really well on it. You're going to actually get more reps, more sets, but it's not going to do the whole... 
mind-blowing pre-workout effect. So for jazz, it wasn't strong enough. That's probably the, 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 the best way to describe mm. it. The other cool thing is the clinical dose, there's 40 scoops in this bitch, man. The clinical dose, what we went through and the amount of each ingredient that's in there is a two scoop dose. Mm. So if you don't, like if, if it's too strong for you, this is particularly good for the, for the pushy cats out there, is they can take one scoop. The pretty young things. Or one, you can go anywhere from one right up to two scoops. So one scoop. So you can dose it as you want. One scoop would be perfect for the little pushy cats. For the pushy cats, yeah. Whereas two scoops for the big swolgers like yourself, absolute must. I'd go four. You know anything else you want to add on this here, MTS Clash, man? It's delicious. I, I would go so far as to say my, my pre-workouts at the moment for the days when I want concentrated stim is DEFCON 1. Mm. From the days where I want to step down and I actually want to improve performance without making it feel like I'm going to a rave party, this here MTS Clash. Mm. That's it. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Raw Review, and particularly because you know we got the Raw Reviews on two other MTS products coming soon, man. MTS and, Way and MTS Fuel. And if, Machine Fuel. And if you don't hit the subscribe button, you may miss them bitches. You got anything else you want to add, Neve? Subscribe. Guys, that is Massive Joe's Raw Review on the old new MTS Clash. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com.